Hey chamber bass players, welcome back. In today's video we are going to learn the bass line to the song The Entertainer. It's originally written for piano, um, but we're learning this so that we can accompany Jordana's video of herself playing, accompanying herself. So, it'll be pretty cool. Um, before we get started, always make sure your bass is in tune. Um, and then we're going to pull up this song, or the PDF, The Entertainer Bass Line and take a look at a few things. Um, first of all, you always want to look at your key signature and your time signature when you're reading a new piece. So as you can see, we've got one sharp here, which means we're in G major, and we're in 4-4 four, four time. And this piece goes pretty quick, um, but you don't have anything faster than quarter notes, so you guys will be able to keep up. Um, before we get started, take a look through here, just scan all the lines, and notice how many accidentals there are. Um, I know that there's a lot of A sharps, there's a lot of C sharps, uh, there's even a few F naturals and E flats, so definitely be ready to pick those up when they come by. Um, and remember that once a measure ends, that those accidentals don't carry over to the next measure, right? So if you've got a C sharp in one measure, and then the next measure there's a C, but there's no accidentals, it just means whatever's in the key signature, right? So C natural in this case. Um, let's take a look at measures seven and eight. There's just a quick little um, part in here that comes around a few times that we might need to practice before we go through this. So measure seven and eight is D, 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 G, D, G, right? So let's practice playing that together three times through just to kind of get comfortable with that. So we're going to take it a little faster. One, two, three. Let's go faster each time. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And faster. Faster. A little faster. All right, so maybe if you didn't get that, pause video, practice that a few times. Um, and there's a few parts in here where you have to kind of jump up to that D really quickly, right? So let's practice just going from first position. So put your uh, second finger on G, low G. And let's practice from going from this G to this D with our fourth finger. So let's just go G, D, G, D, one, two, three, four, G. just practicing that shift, making sure you always land that fourth finger on the in-tune spot every time. And you can always check that by hitting your open D. Alright, so let's go through this together and play it with me. We're going to play it a little down tempo and then we're going to play along with Jordana's video, okay? So we've got two measures of rest, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. stop there because from there on out to the end is the exact same as measure five to like measure uh, 12 or something like that but yeah same as the beginning so now we're gonna play it with Jordana one thing to uh, pay attention to is we have these quarter notes then a rest right and then at certain points it's half notes so we have to be able to distinguish by ear between how those sound. So when you have those quarter note then rest, make sure you're muting the string. 
string after a quarter note passes. Like don't let it ring for as long as a half note because then there's going to be no contrast between those sections and the half note sections. So let's look at um, uh, 31 and mute the string on those rests, right? And then make sure you're letting it ring out when we have those half notes. So measure 31. One, two, three, four. Thank you all are ready. Let's play it with Jordana. job now you guys are going to click the link to this video and you're going to play along with it yourself and record that and send it to me good job guys bye